What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix many of the uncovered errors, you know, uncovered jailbreak that you may have when you're trying to jailbreak or even with Cydia and so on. So the uncovered jailbreak has been released a while ago and it's one of the best jailbreaks that we had for the iOS 12 and iOS 11 and so on. But there are errors at times and sometimes you cannot even jailbreak because the uncovered jailbreak application would basically fail before you would be able to do anything. So you press jailbreak and you would get an error of type, I don't know, cannot extract bootstrap or please remove OTA file and so on. Now there are many other errors that can appear and most of the times they can be fixed. So you don't need to restore and so on. Now there is a mechanism inside the uncover and this one is not guaranteed to actually fix every single possible error. That's impossible. You cannot account for any single error possible. But this one in here is actually doing a very good job and the uncovered jailbreak is the only jailbreak I know of that has a built-in mechanism that you can use in order to fix the jailbreak itself. And I'm talking about this restore rootfs recover in here. Now this toggle in here will basically restore the rootfs partition which contains the CDM and the jailbreak binaries and tweaks and all that jazz and you would basically be able to start over with your jailbreak. Now this is very important because many times this fixes most of the issues you may have with uncover. For example errors during the jailbreak or CDM acting funny or I don't know tweaks not working and crash to the safe mode and all that jazz. Now I managed to fix using this method in here pretty much the error related to the bootstrapping, pretty much the error related to the OTA file if the OTA file was not present in the settings. If it's present in the settings you should delete it. And of course I was able to fix the um, device basically respringing directly into the safe mode after jailbreak and many other problems I had in the past. So in order to use this built-in mechanism you can basically go ahead in here and just toggle the restore rootfs recover on. Now at this point you would just have to go in here and press jailbreak and you would be able to activate that mechanism. Now as I said this may not fix your problem and your problem might be much more complicated than this but this is pretty much the first thing you should do if your jailbreak is acting up, if it's not working, it's failing to install, you're getting various errors and so on. If there is no OTA file in the iPhone storage settings then you should pretty much try this if it acts funny and it doesn't want to jailbreak or it has various problems problems and so on, especially if you have the errors related to the bootstrapping and so on. So after you toggle that, you press jailbreak in here and the process will basically start and the recover will run. So as you can see, the exploit is basically running at this point and I'm waiting for it to do it. So it says in here, notice, will restore rootfs. This may take a while. Do not exit the app and don't let the device lock. Now very important, this will remove all the tweaks that you have installed and possibly the repos as well. Cydia will be pretty much brought back to the factory configurations and all the jailbreak related binaries will be reinstalled. This means that you're basically getting the stock jailbreak configuration which is basically guaranteed to work in many cases and might fix errors that are related to the user error or to user installed things but you must keep in mind that all the tweaks will be removed which means that you're going to have to reinstall them again. Now nothing that is personal you know photos, contacts and so on will be removed but you should make a backup just to be sure before you do this. So I'm going to press OK and at this point it will restart. So I'm back, the device has pretty much restarted and at this point I can basically run again the uncover and I would be able to jailbreak normally. Now keep in mind that uncover will basically act like it's the first time you jailbreak with it and you're going to have to go through the normal restarts and so on when it does the snapshot related stuff and all that jazz. So I'm going to jailbreak and I'm going to be right back. But this might have fixed your issues depending on the issue and of course depending on what caused the errors or the problems in the first place. But yeah, as I said, this is one of the things you can try before trying to restore or before attempting to do future restore and stuff like that with blobs and whatever. So this is one of the things you can do and one of the things you can try and of course if this works your issue is fixed. If it doesn't it means that your problem might be much more serious than this and it may require some special assistance. So the jailbreak is finally done and if you go ahead and here Cydia works pretty fine for me now. Now as I said you're going to have to reinstall the essential upgrades and all that jazz and that's because the jailbreak basically believes that you just installed it now and you've never been jailbroken before. However I'm going to ignore it temporarily you should install it by the way because I want to show you that I do have the sources in here 
and if you take a look all my sources have been kept but none of my tweaks are still installed so I will need to install all my tweaks again anyways that's pretty much it guys that's how you fix some of the uncover errors if this method doesn't work for you this means that you have a much more serious problem which will need some special assistance from pound own or maybe a different fix but this is one of the things you should try in the first place when you have issues with your uncover when it fails to jailbreak and so on thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i am geosnow peace out